Hey, what the fuck? Who's gonna miss a fucking jump? Officer Rogan? Yes, ma'am. Do you understand the circumstances you're in at the moment? Yes, ma'am. I act without proper knowledge or judgment of the situation. Very lucky. We thought we'd lost you. As a matter of fact, I would say you are a medical miracle. Okay. But now's not the time to talk about all this. You need to get some rest. Okay. Got a problem with me, man? Ugh. Remember how cool we thought this place was when we were kids? <laughs> Look at it now. Fucking shame what these people have done with it, man. I don't get it. I don't get it. Hey. Get out of here. Yeah. I'm here. Damn, homie, you on CP time today. I know if you're gonna show up. How you been, man? Been I? Right. How you? Chill. You're not taking your heart meds? No, man, you, you don't know how hard it's been, man. Just every day, it's just worse than the last before it. I fucking hate this shit, man. What's up with you? Uh, you know I'm doing alright. Just trying to make it. How's that cop thing going for you? Well, it's going good. That position just opened up, so I got that promotion. I just got assigned to a big narcotics case. I won't be dealing with that nickel and dime shit anymore. Well, let's see, that would mean that you were the next target with a shotgun, right? Bro? Yeah. I read about that shit. That's great, Mike. Just go ahead and put yourself out there for a bunch of people that don't give a fuck about you, man. Niggers and spicks. Mike, don't give me that look. Mikey, these people don't give a fuck about you. So fuck them all is what I say. I mean, sounds like I'm a racist, but I'm not racist at all. I just don't like white people. Some white people I could tolerate. Some? But... There is no some. I hate all these hypocrite motherfuckers. You're tripping. You don't consider yourself a racist? Fuck no, I consider myself a racist. Look around you, man. Nigga, look. They got us trapped in this bitch like a bunch of fucking cockroaches. I mean, they have every industry on lock that you can imagine. How many niggas do you know own a bank? Or a television station? 
Or a newspaper? You're right. Let's face it, they're a bunch of greedy people. They're all a bunch of greedy people. I'm gonna go as far as saying that all black people are greedy. Oh, you wouldn't. Well, how do you explain black churches, all black movies, Ebony Magazine, BET, Black Miss America? Do you think that being white holds you to some, some type of automatic euphoria? No, of course not. You worked your ass off to become a cop. I worked my ass off to endure this shit. Well, shit happens. Just look at me. Just look at me, man. Just look at me. They did this to me, dog. They did this to me. You can call me a racist, that's fine. But nigga, I did my tour of duty. Desert Storm, Bosnia, motherfucking Iraq. And what does a white man offer his servant? No pension, no congratulations, no nothing. <laughs> Not even a fucking thank you. That's alright though. These white politicians don't give a fuck. Including that white cop that I smoked. Damn, I read about that shit. You did that hit? Better than me. And mom, I'd be real proud of you. I can't believe you go as far as to protect a bunch of junkies and gangbangers who are going to commit self-genocide anyway. Especially after what they did. Come on, Mike, what are you doing? Hey, I gotta go, bro. Okay, man. Okay, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something else, man. It's funny. When we slang in the hood, all these motherfuckers turn a blind eye. They want us to kill our own people. But when we go in their areas, it becomes a different story. Then suddenly it's a problem. No shit. You see, they encourage us to kill each other. <sighs> but kill one white cop, the whole world's mad at you. Man, I'm hearing a whole lot of talking, but I ain't seeing shit. We're gonna move some of this weight or what, nigga? See, you smart. You're not like the rest of those punk-ass niggas afraid to do dirt. I like that. But you know what they say, don't you? What's that? Mine's a terrible thing to make. Hustles get what they want, suckers get what they can. Hustles get what they want, suckers get what they can. Hustles get what they want, suckers get what they can. Hustles get what they want, suckers get what they can. Hustles get what they want, suckers get what they can. Hustles get what they want, suckers get what they can. Hustles get what they want, suckers get what they can. Hustles get what they want, suckers get what they can. Hustles 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 get
now that you know why you're here, so without further notification or cause, you're involuntarily suspended from the department, pending further investigation. You may turn in your shield and firearm immediately. Admiring my work. How long, <clears throat> how long have I been here? They brought you in three days ago, in pretty bad shape. Luckily for you, we were able to find a donor right away. You know, this hospital has certain standards of ethical man. responsibilities regarding post-surgical procedures. But I can't stop thinking about the odds. the odds. I've been practicing for 12 years now. And for a procedure of this type, to search like we had to, to find conceivably the best donor imaginable. And at the last possible moment, it's beyond my comprehension. What are you, what are you saying to But me? I genuinely thought you should know. You have the heart of a true champion. Okay. Mm. Okay. A police officer is killed, gunned down while on duty. Funny how subtle life can be. In downtown be. county, that's where NBC 10's Alex Hayes is live tonight. Alex? Died, leaving behind a wife, two young sons, and a shell shocked police department. This was working on a silver park task force. Investigators allege after a chase in plain clothes was not wearing a bulletproof vest. He was pronounced dead on arrival at Red Hospital. His funeral has been set for noon Wednesday. Lied and Alex says NBC 